That was Cypress Grove Blues by the great Skip James from the original 1930 recordings. And today we're going to be discussing his style. We're going to be uh, talking about this particular songs and how they reappear in his other great hits, which account for his uh, repertoire. And uh, this is a very very unique style of playing blues. It's using a special minor tuning based in a uh, open D. It's an open D minor tuning and the origins of this tuning are not necessarily from the Delta. It's from mainly the central part of the state, Batonia, where Skip James was from. Some pin this style of tuning to the Caribbean in which Skip James spent a little time as a uh, migrant worker and some say that he picked up this tuning from the Caribbean so in its way it's a very uh, uh, mysterious kind of tuning in a way that it's very eerie but so riveting nonetheless so before we get started uh, in playing Skip James's music, you don't need any special kind of resonator or special metal guitar or anything like that. Just a basic acoustic guitar will do. Any guitar, for the matter, is fine for the uh, for the purposes of this lesson. No slide is necessary. All I suggest is that you uh, uh, pick. Uh, always come equipped maybe with some finger picks. I like to use plastic finger picks for uh, playing this kind of music, it's easy on the fingers. But uh, nonetheless, let's uh, first tune up to each other. Now this tuning is open D minor tuning and that's going to mean that my top string is going to be a D and let's uh, match our uh, tones to one another. This is my top string, a D, so tune up to me if you have a guitar. Now this, the fifth string will be an A. The uh, fourth string is going to be a D. third string is going to be an F my second string is going to be an A and my bottom string is going to be a D and all together it's going to sound like this basically a D minor chord and uh, it is pretty much a majority of Skip James's work is based in this tuning. Songs like Hard Time Killing Four Blues, Devil's Got My Woman, Illinois Blues, Cypress Grove Blues, Cherry Ball Blues, his most famous hits are based around this tuning. So today we're going to be discussing the licks and the chordings in this song which also reappear in those other songs and they can provide to be useful for you as you continue your learning campaign. So first off, off the bat, uh, I'm going to just talk about a brief thing about positioning of the right hand. And there is really no particular finger style that, that needs to be implemented with Skip James's music. It's however you feel, but I have a tendency to to play with the kind of discipline where the uh, the thumb is going to be playing just the uh, sixth and fifth strings, the bass notes, and the index finger is going to be picking out the individual notes in the first, second, and third strings and there's a, like an interplay between the thumb and the index finger pinching together 
the licks and chords which I'm going to discuss here shortly. And then by doing that I like to position my right hand like this. My thumb, my, the palm of my hand, the outer lining of my palm of my hand is going to be resting about here, halfway in the middle of the uh, bridge, the, uh, the, the nut here and the uh, end of the neck, the fretboard and the bridge here. And my hand is going to be positioned like this diagonally, it's like a shadow puppet. Do a shadow puppet like this, then just diagonally place it like this. The outer lining of the uh, palm of the hand is going to be just resting like this. And I like to have the thumb. I like to have the thumb, the outer lining of the thumb, kind of resting over the sixth and fifth strings. And the thumb is free to pulsate these kind of bass bass strings. These uh, monotonic bass strings. So this is what I'm trying to get at is that your index finger is going to be playing like for instance I'm playing just the regular chord. And the thumb is pulsating that bass note as the accompaniment. And that's something that I like to play in this kind of style of music, Delta Blues music. And it's something that might prove to be useful as we uh, continue out here in the course of study. But it, that's just my way of approaching the music. It will all come into place. It will all come to fruition as we continue on in the lesson here. But if there's a particular way that you want to play it with just downstrokes, that's that's entirely up to you whatever is more comfortable for you so it was just a brief kind of discussion about the right hand discipline and techniques to be utilized in this Skip James's song so <clears throat> first off and foremost we're going to be talking about the introduction and the introduction is utilizing basically a, it's like a turnaround sequence and these very typical Skip James chords and chord arrangements that are found in this tuning and the turnaround is like basically sounds like this a very simple technique is just going up the neck board and what we're gonna do here is that in this introduction what he's doing is he's he's uh, with this with your index finger you're going to be locating the fourth fret and it's also available to you on the tablature and uh, you locate the the fourth fret you you uh, position your index finger in the third string and your middle finger in the bottom string on the fourth fret so it's fretted like this and you just play this <laughs> chord like that. And this is a, a special chord that he likes to use. He uses it in Illinois blues if you want to carry on. But in, for the matter of this purpose in the introduction it starts off with this chord. And my thumb is tracing down to this third string and my index finger is flicking up this chord so it's like notice the right hand technique so in this introduction I'm gonna spell it out here the introduction sounds like this So with this positioning of the uh, fourth fret, he leads into it by starting on the third fret. So the very first note of this piece is going to start on the third fret, maintaining the same positioning. So it's like this. And the 
thumb can either play the, the top string or on the fourth string. On the tablature I have it laid out where the, uh, the thumb is playing on the top string. So that introductionary piece starts third fret into the fourth fret and you play just a, a series of brushes I don't know how many times here around seven or eight times that's the first sequence the first measure and then what he does here is he goes up the neck board and he's gonna play a different fingering position instead of this shape that I'm showing you he switches his fingers and he's going to play something like something like uh, this. It's going to be on the second and third fret. Your index finger is going to be holding the second string on the second fret, and your middle finger is going to be holding down the third string on the third fret. And you're going to be playing this. Again with the same sequence on the right hand. So that's the next chord in the sequence. So it's and he plays that four times. And then he slides over to the first and second fret holding the same fingering position. pretty simple. So from the beginning it's like this. And those are the three chords. So when he's in this position on the first and second fret, he plays that three times. And he plays this kind of pretty cool lick. Maintaining the same fingering, he goes, it all plays out like this. introduction is going to play out. So in this position where he's on the first and second fret, plays it three times and then with your free ring finger you're going to hold down the bottom string on the second fret. And then you're going to play open. So one, two, three. So all together it will ring like this. And it's also laid out for you in the tablature. With that upstroke with the index finger is the last chord in that sequence. And uh, after he plays that, he plays this uh, bass, a series of four notes in the bass, and it'll sound like this. So all together it'll be like this. So those four notes will be this. The first note is open on the top string. Then the third fret top string. Then the uh, fifth string open. Then the t uh, sixth string open. One, two, three, four. And then you cap that off with just playing the second string open.
together it will be like this. Pretty straightforward and simple. And when he plays this, when after he plays this bass note, it's going to evolve like this. And this time around, what he's doing here is uh, after he plays this open, he plays this second and third fret shape then open again and then he slides over to the third and fourth fret your index finger is touching the second string in the third fret your middle finger is uh, holding down the fourth string on the fourth fret so it's just like what you were playing on the second and third fret but on the third and fourth fret and so coming all together it will sound like this the thumb is playing over the fifth string. Notice how I'm pinching together. And then after he plays this, he gets into the uh, the actual verse of the song. I would rather be dead and we'll get into that portion here shortly. So capping off the introduction from the beginning is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. also laid out for you in the tablature so it's just a basically it's just the emphasizing this turnaround based on this chord position very simple but it's so typical of this kind of tuning arrangement so it's also laid out for you in the tablature and I shouldn't have any issues with it so in this next portion we're going to be talking about the verse of the song which is the very characteristic and staple of the song so and then this next portion it's a very the uh, the music musical notation is basically like a call and response an echo to the voice so you have to be very meticulous in its application and that's what we're going to go over here next and now we're going to continue on to the uh, verse of the song this is the very famous <clears throat> verse where he's singing where he goes I would rather be dead Lord than in some cypress <clears throat> and this is what we're going to talk about here <clears throat> so if you have the tablature available with you it it's very useful in following along and so basically this verse is going to be a combination of playing individual strings double stops <clears throat> and picking with the index finger so the first six notes we're going to go over are going to sound like this I would rather be dead and that's what we're going to go over here is it's a total of six notes <clears throat> And what you're going to do, we'll go over the six notes here all at the same time. The first note, you're going to play open on the fifth string. Then on the uh, 
fifth string, you're going to fret the uh, third fret. Third fret, fifth string. Then open on the fourth string. <clears throat> All played with the thumb. <clears throat> and then you play with the index finger picking upwards the second string and then the first string. So, <clears throat> all together, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then you end, the sixth note is going to be this, which is going to be a double stop. I mean, you're going to play two strings at the same time, pinching. And that's going to be your uh, third fret, fourth string with the thumb, and your index finger is going to play the bottom string open together like this. So in all application it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> and then when you put it all together it's like this. I would rather be dead. I would rather be dead. And one last time. Notice, look at the right hand position. I would rather. are the six the first six notes of that verse so again what's imperative to note is the interplay on the right hand you're playing bass notes individually then picking strings individually with your index finger and then playing double stops <clears throat> so after this I would rather be dead he uh, finishes it off like this I'm gonna start from the beginning I would rather be dead, Lord, and in some Cypress Grove. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to go over here. So in those first six sequence of notes, I would rather be dead. And after he says this, dead, he plays the top string open with the thumb. Lord, dead, Lord. And then he plays with the index finger, the bottom string open. And then the top string open again. So, taken from the, <clears throat> the word dead, he goes, dead, Lord. basically four notes they're all open so <clears throat> it'll be dead one two three four dead <clears throat> dead one two three four and from the beginning all sound is I would rather 